Have you been looking and searching for the perfect household cleaning supplies? Ones that are all natural, I mean completely all natural, not ones that claim to be natural, but they're completely natural so that when you turn them over, you turn them over in the back and you read the ingredients, you actually understand the ingredients. And also the perfect cleaning supplies would be multi-purpose so that you don't have to collect all these cleaners underneath your cabinet. So you can simplify your cleaning routine and your cleaning supplies. And is it too much to ask that they actually smell good? Because let's be honest, I don't like cleaning the house, but you've got to do it. You have to clean it. It's, it's a chore that must be done. And so if we had a cleaner um, that actually smelled good and was excited. You were excited to clean the house or maybe not just excited, but motivated to clean the house. What would that look like? Well, I want to tell you about two cleaners that you can simplify your cleaning routine. You can clean your whole house with these guys. They are completely all natural. When you look over in the back of these, you can read and you actually understand the ingredients and they smell really good. A lot of our customers sell, say they smell amazing. This is clove cinnamon vanilla. This is our clove cinnamon vanilla all-purpose cleaner starter kit. And I want to tell you how you can clean your whole house with these guys. But first, let me introduce me. My name is Casey. I'm the founder and CEO of Reds Gone Green. And we want to help you create a happier and healthier home by using the best smelling all-natural cleaners. So let's get started. The first cleaner, well, actually I wanted to show you, I just went to the store and bought, if I was gonna clean my house, all the different rooms and all the different things I had to do, what I needed to buy. So I just went to the store, and can you see that? That's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products that I would at least need to clean my whole house, so seven products. So I'm telling you that you can replace those seven products with just these two products, and they smell amazing, and they're completely all natural. Again, you're gonna know the ingredients when you read them. So I wanted to explain what they are. This is our all-purpose cleaner. It's called Clean Freak, and it's close of vanilla. And if you smell it, oh, I just, I totally underestimate the smell every time. I haven't used it in a while, and I love this guy. But I wanted to read the ingredients to you. It's distilled water, distilled grain alcohol, clove bud essential oil, cinnamon bark essential oil, and vanilla planifolia. So distilled water, you obviously know what it is, but distilled grain alcohol, you probably know what it is, but it's ethyl alcohol or ethanol, which has been in the news lately. Something unique that's different about our ethyl alcohol is that we use non-denatured alcohol, and that is compared to denatured alcohol. If you look at um, lots of natural cleaners and even hand sanitizer out there, you look at the ingredients, it will say denatured alcohol. And what that is, is it's ethyl alcohol, but it has a toxic, toxic chemical that's added to it to make it non-consumable. So we use non-denatured alcohol, which is a little more expensive, but I believe it is safer. And so that's what we use. Um, clove bud essential oil is just that, clove buds. Um, we get ours, um, it's harvested in Indonesia, which is its native uh, land for the clove bud tree, for the clove tree. And then cinnamon bark essential oil, we get ours from Madagascar and it is the best smelling cinnamon. It's the most expensive that I've found, but it is so, it smells so true to cinnamon. I just love it. And then bland, uh, vanilla planifolia is just basically vanilla essential oil, but uh, it comes from the fifth pressing of the vanilla bean. And so I don't know if you were like this, but I used to hate the smell of vanilla products because they just smell cloey and uh, fake and I just vanilla perfume vanilla scented anything it just it wasn't good until I found vanilla planifolia and this guy is just delicious it's it's the real deal it's becomes again the fifth pressing of the vanilla bean but it's thick and it's just a true vanilla and it is yummy 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 okay so our all-purpose cleaner what can you use it for because I use it all around my house in the kitchen I clean my countertops with it any non-porous countertops this is your guy or your gal, um, laminate, tile, um, quartz, I have them written down. Where am I? Quartz, tile, butcher block. I spray it on there, uh, wipe it down, and that's what I do. I use, I use this a lot. Um, appliances, uh, my stainless steel trash can, when I'm cleaning that with all the fingerprints from all my kiddos that get on it, I use it for that. I use it on the, I don't have a microwave, but if I did, I'd use it to, I'd clean the inside of it. I use this to clean the inside of my microwave and the outside. My fridge, of course, on the outside, the door handles, you wanna make sure you get those because those get lots of use during the day. 
inside your fridge when you're cleaning it out. This is a great, great cleaner for that. Um, what else? Oh, my stove top. So I have a black stove top that's like built into your counter and um, it gets lots of smudges and just oil and grease and everything from everyday use. So I use, I use this to wipe it up every night. Um, of course, you can wipe out, some people wipe out kitchen sinks. Um, I'm going to show, my other cleaner is mainly for scrubbing the sink, but you can use that. Um, light switches are a big deal. Don't forget your light switches in your kitchen. What else? Uh, in the bathroom, you've got your mirrors. I use it on my mirrors. Um, I wipe the outside my toilet down, the, the handle, and again, my light switches, doorknobs. I like to clean doorknobs and light switches because, you know, those get heavy use. Countertops, any non-porous countertops that you have in your bathroom, if you want to wipe out your sink with it, you can uh, use it on your tile shower walls in the bathtub. Wipe that off. The floor. Ah, forgot the floor. So what I do, I've had a lot of questions recently about how I clean my floors with this guy. Uh, and I mop them every day. Not, not really. I have four kids and so I don't get around to mopping my floors every day. But when I do, what I do is I, I just spray it on uh, the kitchen floor and then I have, I either, or I have my kids, even better, use the mop and we just, we do it like that. Or if I feel the need to get down on my hands and knees and spray and which rarely happens, but I would do it. Another thing I've done to use to clean my floors is I've poured a little bit of this and you know how you fill the sink full of water when you're mopping. At least I do. That's how I mop. Um, and then I pour a little bit of this in there just as a cleaner and a scent and I dip my mop in it and I get to town on the floor. Another, uh, yes, on the floor. So bathroom and kitchen floors. Um, and then floors throughout my house. Uh, my floors are tiles, so that's what I use to clean them up. What else I use is baseboards. This is great baseboard cleaner, and what's so great is baseboards are throughout your home, and so this clove summer vanilla is so amazing this time of year, and well, all, I have some customers who buy it year round. Uh, I have one lady, sweet thing, and she's bought for me for like five or six years, and that's all she gets year round is clove summer vanilla, because it smells that good, guys. But baseboards, when you're cleaning your baseboards, um, which is like weekly for me. Not really. Again, I can't remember last time I cleaned my baseboards, but I should and you should too. But when you're cleaning them throughout your home, what's awesome is because you're spreading this scent and it's like diffused. This close van vanilla is diffused throughout your home. Hello guys. If y'all have any questions, please comment and leave them below as I keep chatting at the storm. But, um, so baseboards, doorknobs, light, uh, light switches, car interior. Um, and I didn't find a cleaner for that one to replace. I couldn't find it at the store, but um, I have leather seats in my minivan and so I just spray them and I wipe them down. Those get pretty nasty with um, kids in the car. My um, dashboard, my steering wheel, uh, like the windshield. What else is there to clean in the in the car? Where the radio and all that fun stuff is. Uh, also, I use it as an air freshener, which my air freshener is back there if you see it. But um, it is great as an air freshener. Just spray it in the air and let it diffuse its yumminess. Uh, I also like to spray it on my couches before um, company comes over or on my carpet just as a to diffuse the cloves and vanilla throughout the house. One of my favorite tips I wanted to tell you is that when you have company coming over, spray down, and I just learned this, and it's so it's such a yummy, fun hack, mom hack, but uh, spray your, where the front door is, the, um, not the threshold, the frame, you know, the frame that's around your front door, um, spray it. Mine's obviously woodwork. And so you spray it, wipe it down, and then that close of vanilla is there. And then when your company walks in or your husband, your friends, your kids come home from school and they smell that, it just makes them, it just makes your house, it's such an inviting thing to walk into a house and to smell, um, for it to smell good. I always say, like, I love a clean home. There's nothing like coming home to a clean home, right? But when you walk into a room and it smells good, like, the ultra bonus would be to walk in your house and it's so clean and it smells so good. But if I can't, I don't always have time to clean. But if I walk into my house and it smells good, it, like, to me, it trumps the cleanliness. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe because in my mind, I think something that's clean smells good. But not saying to have a dirty house. But if it smells good, that's it. So that's a way to, like, be inviting and a great hostess hack and tip next time you have company over. Okay, so this is our all-purpose cleaner. Again, all-natural, the best-smelling all-natural cleaner you're going to find. You can use it all over your house. Our next one in the cleaner starter kit is our kitchen sink cleansing scrub. It's baking soda base. So I just made this fresh batch the other day, and I just think they're so cute. 
Another thing that I've been told about our cleaners is that someone just told me the other day, she's like, I was cleaning up my kitchen and I usually have to hide the cleaner when my friends come over because I don't want, I don't want that sitting on my countertop. I don't, I don't want people to see that. But your cleaners, I can keep them sitting out of my cabinet and they actually add to the decor because they're cute. And so that is our, one of our goals but you don't have to hide your cleaners. They smell good, they look good, they make you feel good. You got a clean house, it smells good. It's just life is good. Okay, so this is our cleansing scrub. And guys, there's supposed to be a link at the bottom here um, that's like features the product, but I don't know where it is. Honestly, this is my first time to use this, but uh, where you can get this, redsgonegreen.com is our um, website. Go to redsgonegreen.com, we're an online boutique. And you're gonna see a picture of a mama and her sweet daughter on the front and then you're gonna see a green button that says start here just press that it's gonna take you directly to the all-purpose cleaner uh, starter kit and you can get going there okay so what else is in the starter kit two cleaners two all-natural products you need to clean your whole house this is what I use this is what you'll use so this cleansing scrub it's got sodium bicarbonate which is baking soda sodium percarbonate which is Ooh, my favorite ingredient, oxygen bleach. This guy, oxygen bleach is amazing. It's like, it's obviously opposite of chlorine bleach, which you know can stain your white or your uh, colored clothes and just you get it splashed on you. I, I remember using it and like it splash on a nice top and I'm like, well, stink, I gotta throw that away because now I got a white stain on it. This guy won't. Oxygen bleach bleaches out your stains and helps clean and it does not uh, bleach everything. It does not stain it which sounds weird because it turns it white. Chlorine bleach, that is. So, sodium bicarbonate, sodium carbonate, which is washing soda, clove bud essential oil, cinnamon bark essential oil, and vanilla planifolia, which I've already told you about those guys. This guy, again, smells really good. And I'm gonna, later this week, I'll be showing some how-tos going live. So follow our Facebook page or like it, whatever you do that these days. Um, and you'll get some how-to videos, but this guy what you do anything that you want to scrub clean This is your gal. And so you're gonna sprinkle it on um, Let's say let's well, let's start with the list of what it what I use to clean it on and what you'll use kitchen sinks bathroom sinks sprinkle it in uh, Your sink add a little water to make a paste get your dish soap brush or your scrub brush scrub it around if you've got some stains in there let it sit for anywhere from 10 minutes to like two or three days. If it's a tough stain, let it sit for longer and that sodium percarbonate is gonna break it up and help get that stain out. Um, stainless steel sinks, um, these is the, eh, this is awesome on wooden cutting boards. I love this trick. So, you know, cutting boards, the wooden, uh, it gets the knife slits in there and then bacteria and germs can grow. I love this guy for scrubbing the cutting board. What I do is, um, once I'm done with it, I sprinkle, or once I'm done with the cutting board, I sprinkle it on there. Again, I add a little water with the paste and I just scrub it. And then I rinse it off and it's nice and clean and ready to go in the dryer rack and use for next time. So wooden cutting boards, um, kitchen and bathroom sinks, inside toilet bowls in your bathroom. Um, sprinkle it in there. If you want to let it sit for a while, sometimes I scrub around with a toilet brush and let it sit and hang out in there for a little bit to clean better. And then, you know, just your normal flush your toilet. Um, and you're good to go. And then what else? Tile grout. Um, if you've got stains on your tile grout, use it, get a paste, sprinkle it on there, or better yet, get a bowl, sprinkle some in there, add a little water to make a paste. This is pretty much what you do with all of it. And then get a toothbrush, an old one that you don't use anymore, and scrub away and let it hang out there for a while and then rinse it off. And it's gonna help clean your tile grout. Any questions? No, I don't see any. Okay, uh, stainless steel pans. You know when you cook eggs on your stainless steel pans and it leaves, <laughs> oh, my husband hates when I do this because <laughs> I'm always in a hurry to cook eggs for the breakfast, but it leaves like egg stuff in there and it's so hard to get off and you have to soak it and blah, 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 blah. So this is great to sprinkle on there. Again, add a little water to make a little paste, scrub it off. Uh, if they're super stuck on there, you probably need to let it soak for a little bit, but it's great for stainless steel pans. Um, I also use this as a laundry pre-soak. Um, so if I have a stain, um, I will fill up a, a sink full of water and put some in this and let it soak in there, especially if it's like some whites that I'm wanting to white out or to get whiter and brighter, then I'll do that. I also add it to my washing machine, which is a high efficiency washing machine. So I just add it um, 
two, let's see. So I put the soap in the little top container and then I, I put this, I sprinkle it actually in the drum of the washer and then close it and start it and start the washer and it helps. It's like a laundry booster. It's awesome. This is also a deodorizer. So you can sprinkle it on your carpet, which I'm not sure I found that cleaner at the store. Anywho, that's another one. So sprinkle it on your carpet and then vacuum it up and then your it'll stay in your vacuum and like diffuse that yummy yumminess throughout when you're vacuuming your house. Good stuff. So I've told you about the clean your starter kit. Um, let me talk to you about the scent. I think I already have it. Close some of vanilla. Guys, it smells so awesome. Do you want to smell it? Okay, you can't, but it smells so good. In fact, okay, so my husband does not like to clean countertops. And I always tell him a kitchen is not clean without doing the countertops. But he's like, if you put your clothes and vanilla out there, I'll clean the countertops. So that's my little trick to get my husband to clean the countertops. Because I believe a kitchen, it just doesn't feel clean if your countertops are not clean. So I put this guy out and it cleans up. But it smells like the holidays. It's so warm and cozy and inviting. Um, it stays in your air a long time. I wanted to hit on that point because a lot of natural fragrances, um, essential oils diffuse faster. And that's just because they don't use, they're not toxic chemicals that are added to your fake fragrances to make them stay in your air longer. And so that is some of the issues with um, all natural cleaners people don't like. It doesn't, now it's not going to stay in your air like um, some other things that have the fake fragrances that are, like stay in there for a four, five, six a days or a week. Um, but it's a good time, and that's because clove and cinnamon essential oils are middle, middle note um, oils. Uh, not to be geeky, but for essential oils and fragrances, you have top note, middle note, and base note. Your top note are going to diffuse faster, like lavender, citrus. Your middle notes are going to stay a little bit longer in the air. That's clove, cinnamon, and your base notes are going to stay the longest, and vanilla is a base note oil excuse me and that is mainly saying it's because it's a thicker oil when you see vanilla plant folia it's a very thick oil which means it's just going to stay in your air longer and so you spray this guy it's going to be in there for longer it's really yummy in fact sometimes i'll clean and i'll leave the house and i'll come back and be like did i did i make cookies like i don't and i'll be like oh i just cleaned i should know <laughs> anyway here we go, the two cleaners to simplify your cleaning routine and supplies and help you minimize those toxic chemicals in your house. These two guys are gonna replace those guys. So you're gonna simplify your um, products under your cabinet. You're gonna minimize toxic chemicals because these are all natural. They smell amazing. They're available on our website. And I'm sorry, I had a link down below and I don't, I don't understand the Facebook gremlins or what that is, but if you go to redsgonegreen.com, again, you're going to see a picture of a sweet mama with her baby, and then you're going to see a green square that says start here. Click start here, and you'll be taken directly to our all-purpose cleaner set. This is what it is, and while you're there, sign up for our email list because I have not announced it yet, but the week of Thanksgiving, we're doing uh, give away each day until Black Friday and so we have several gift sets that we're gonna bring out and we'll be giving away a gift set each day of the week but it's only to our email subscribers we're gonna do a drawing with them so if you go to redsgonegreen.com if you're not already on the email list a little box will pop up asking you if you want 10% off and who doesn't want that but sign up for it so you will be entered in the drawings um, for our gift sets the week of Thanksgiving I think that's all. So, does anyone have any questions? It doesn't look like they do, but these two guys are super excited about it. I hope you have a great Sunday, and that's all. See y'all later. Oh, tune in next Sunday at 4 o'clock. I'm going to be bringing out every Sunday at 4 o'clock Central Standard Time. I'll be bringing out a different gift set, which will, be, will feature a gift set that's new for us, which we will be giving away the week of Thanksgiving, one day each week. So... I will see you next Sunday. Bye.